Um, it's time to talk step for safety now. And uh, I'm joined by um, representatives of the um, UNHCR, which is a UN referee, sorry, refugee agency um, that seeks to, you know, better the lives of refugees and give them, you know, a, a better, um, you know, better conditions of living. Um, I'm joined by the head of private sector partnerships in Africa, um, also under the UNHCR, um, Nida Jehu Mazu. You're warmly welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and then I'm also joined by the private sector partnerships officer, face-to-face -face fundraising, also UNHCR, Thibault Rogers. Yeah, good. How are Hi. you? You're very well, thank you. How Amazing. You very well, thank you, myself. Yes, 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 you're welcome. What, what is Step for Safety? It's a very, very catchy name. What is Step it for is, Safety? It is, and it's an exciting yeah? um, event as well. Mm. Um, this will be the second one in Accra. So Step for Safety is a gathering um, of the Lukuluku community. And Lukuluku is really um, the coming together of people um, of like mind who believe that being forced to flee your home does not mean that you must live without dignity. Oh, good. Um, so this is the essence of Ubuntu, uh, um, uh, Lukuluku. I am because you are. Um, okay. The whole Ubuntu spirit. Yeah. And um, it's it's we Lukuluku came about about almost three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we, you know, across Africa, we launched in Ghana. Ghana was the first country to launch, and then Kenya, South Africa, Senegal. Burkina Faso um, and, and so on. So it's it's gathering momentum, mm. and then there was a hunger and a yearning from the community for an offline gathering. Okay. So last year we started this series of um, walks, step for safety walks, mm. um, starting with Kenya, Ghana, Burkina Faso again, Senegal, yeah. South Africa, and then already this year we've done South Africa and Kenya, and okay. then Ghana is is the next, next um, event line. this year. Um, and the objective, it really is to draw awareness, but also to fundraise for our forcibly um, displaced brothers and sisters. Okay. Often people will say, we still we also have poor people in Ghana, so mm. why should we um, support this forcibly displaced? Yeah. We're not asking to enrich um, the forcibly displaced. Okay. What we spend, in essence, is probably around, uh, and this is a great approximation, but about 70 CDs a month per refugee. This is oh, what we spend. Okay. Um, so it's not as if we're saying, you know, Put them in airport residential area yeah, or anything exactly. like this it's just really to restore the dignity of these people and you know we always as a community and no. as individuals we're asking no. individuals to help us support um because this these are our cousins and our brothers and exactly. sisters they look like you and i exactly um and we wouldn't want if you know the the, the tables should be turned we would want someone to see us That's so we're true. saying see them mm. the people and my colleague here you know will pro probably talk more about yeah. that um for, for for you to understand but it's 35 cds and it's at the Accra polo club okay um tomorrow morning the call time is 5 30 in the morning it's going to be okay. fun we have great celebrities from ghana joining us okay. it's going to be real good fun oh fantastic yeah. fantastic um Tibo, i'll come to you um i want to understand who exactly is organizing this is it only unhcr who is organizing this so this Events. is being organized by okay. the Luku Luku family. Okay. Um, Only Luku Luku family. Well, and you, everybody. <laughs> so Luku Luku is everybody. Okay. Everybody who believes that being forcibly displaced doesn't mean that you must right. be stripped of your dignity. Okay. So this is really just lofty-minded people coming together. In mm. Ghana, it's led by incredible people like Giovanni, yeah. um, Nikki Samonas, mm. Abrantie, Kwame, um, the celebrity chef. Yeah. Uh, more recently, we've been joined by Antoine Mensah. Mm. We've been joined by K.O.D., yeah. um, Ajete Anan, yeah. Juliette Ibrahim. Mm. I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting somebody. Um, but really <laughs> great Ghanaian humanitarians. Yeah who are also donors and supporters, they're doing this out of the goodness of their heart. We don't pay okay. them a penny. People think they get paid money. They but don't. It's really just, just to support us. Yeah. Okay. And they are, in fact, they are the ones organizing it. We're practically okay. guests at this. Um, <laughs> and they've done a really great job yeah. um, at the Polo Club. Last year's was phenomenal. The oh. after party was great. Um, and, and in fact, we have people reach out to us to say, when is the next one? one because exactly. you know, we want to do this again. And awesome. we're very excited about that. Great. And people can register on the site. Okay. Um, so if you didn't manage to go on lukuluku.org to register and yeah. get um, um, your, your name out there. You can still show up and register yeah. on the site tomorrow morning. Okay. So, yes. Tivo, what part did you play in all of this? Oh, fantastic. Um, thank you so much. And actually, <laughs> before I actually talk about my part, I just want to take this opportunity to actually talk about my short um, background history. Okay. Um, I'm originally from Sierra Leone. Okay. I was actually a refugee myself. Oh. Um, I, you know, during the Civil War years in Sierra Leone, in the, in the late 1990s, I actually escaped mm. um, by myself. 
very lucky and I came to Ghana. Mm. So I was actually in Ghana as a refugee for almost eight years. Oh wow, um, eight years. Almost eight years here in Ghana. Um, I went to high school here through the UNHCR oh. and, um, and in 205 um, I was one of the lucky few that got the opportunity to be resettled um, to Australia okay. and um, so for the past 15 years I've been in Australia but then I've decided to come back to Africa because mm. you know um, this is this is home yeah. and and I and I do understand the refugee situations mm -hmm. because myself I was a refugee myself yeah. I benefited from the work of UNACI and also um, you know the great hospitality yeah. you know, of, the, of Ghana and Ghanaian people mm -hmm. so hence the reason why I've decided to come back to you know to connect you know um, Ghana and Ghanaian people to yeah. the cause of refugees yeah. you know and not only in Ghana but also right around the continent yeah. so one, one of my role basically in the, um, in Ghana mm -hmm. it's to you know to organize the um, to, to coordinate the face-to-face -face fundraising project okay. I guess a lot of people um, have been saying some of our fundraisers for the first time actually happening on the African continent <laughs> you know here in Ghana um, we do have face to um, face to face fundraising so okay. um, I get a lot of people have actually seen some of our fundraisers in um, in the malls Accra mm. mall Marina mall Achimota mall okay. trying to talk to them yeah. so basically How does that work? yeah fantastic so um, our, what we do basically we um, we recruit, mm -hmm. um, we sign up donors, individual okay. Ghanaians. Okay. Um, How? Um, individual Ghanaians on the platform. Okay. Um, it's, it's purely, um, it's a cashless transaction. It's all automated okay. through um, credit cards or through um, any um, bank card that has a Visa or MasterCard Master, on it, okay. symbol on it. Okay. And you can actually be able to donate anywhere from like 70 cities to like 200 cities a okay. month. Because um, like I said, I myself I was a refugee mm -hmm. in Ghana for almost eight years. So the journey of a refugee does not just start on the day that I actually become a refugee. Indeed. It's, it, it's, it's a journey right from crisis yeah. to to the point where somebody has to be set and somebody has to go back home on mm. a voluntary basis as well okay. and that could actually take years and years and years hence the reason why we ask Ghanaians yeah. um, to come on board support the work of UNHCR on a consistent basis yeah. so that is what we've been trying to do actually I was so excited I had um, Ajete Anand actually Ajete Anand join us on um, two days ago yeah. at Accra Mall to do first face to face That's fundraising with us yes and then also yesterday Nikki joined us at mm. um, Achimota Mall as okay. well um, to do face-to-face -face fundraising so that mm -hmm. it's really 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 exciting and um, I really want to take this opportunity also to yeah. really thank Ghanaians because for the past six to seven months since we launched the face-to-face -face project yeah. over 1,000 Ghanaians oh, amazing. Have, have actually signed up amazing. you know with their credit cards yeah. and with their yeah. bank cards and with their details and it, it, it's really great so they do a monthly transfer or as yeah. and when they feel like they want to send money there's a direct debit. You can sign okay. up for monthly direct debit, but okay. you can also at any time out of the goodness of your heart, just, yeah. you know, send a donation to us. Okay. Um, UNACI is run purely on voluntary contributions. Okay. So, yeah. 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 And this goes 100% to refugee um, okay. response. Yes. Amazing. Yes. So um, help us um, understand how we can do this. I'm sure there are people out there who would like to also make their contributions and help someone out there um, on a monthly basis, perhaps. So we have, um, just go to donate.unhr.org. Okay. and sign up. Okay. Donate.unhr.org and sign up. If you want to send us mobile money also, you can through okay. MTN. It's start 170 hash. You go to general payment and then you, you choose account name UNHCR and then you put your amount. So okay. star 170 hash, mm -hmm. general payment, mm -hmm. UNHCR account, and then um, you put whatever amount you want. Please support us, Ghana. And it's then, a great cause. And then also <laughs> next time, um, you are actually at the um, the uh, the shopping malls, Accra yeah. Mall, Achimota Mall, Marina mm -hmm. Mall, um, all the Palace Mall. When you see our fundraisers yeah. um, from UNHCR, when UNHCR vest, please talk to them. Okay. You know, um, they are legitimate. Okay. Um, they are there, um, um, sent there by the organization. Yes. So I really want people to believe that this. Right. Is Right. It's, 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 um, they are there yeah. as our staff exactly. and um, please um, do not hesitate to give yeah. them your details Something because that, your it. details will be secured and mm. will be safe amazing it, yeah that's that's really good to know um, run us through for the last time the details for the step for safety one more time so that our viewers can also note that and join you tomorrow morning excellent and I'm mm -hmm. hoping you're coming as well <laughs> I'll do my best um, no so yes. basically the call time is 5 30 in the morning okay. um, we're gonna have a warm-up by a famous famous um, celebrity in Ghana that likes to do walks okay um, and then you'll meet all your big stars there mm -hmm. um, and the idea 
um, is to have a warm up and then we leave okay. for the walk going through El Wak and back to Polo Club. Okay. Um, I think it's, some people will do five kilometers, some people do eight kilometers, but you okay. have the option to do up to eight kilometers. Okay. So if you have a Fitbit or an Apple project, you know, thing that you want to make sure that you get your steps in, join us. <laughs> um, and then there's a great after party. There's loads of food. There's mm. entertainment for kids. Bring the kids. For right. kids, it's 20 CDs. Okay. For adults, it's 35. Okay. Um, for students, it's 20 CDs as well. Okay. So come everybody. Let's mm. be the other cities in Africa. Yeah. We have thousands in Kenya. We have thousands in South mm. Africa. We have to be them in Ghana. So show up Accra. Amazing. Um, let's do this together. Raising funds for the refugees yes. and those who've been kicked yes. out of their home countries. Exactly. And learn more. There's also a simulation exercise, okay. a simulation exercise that demonstrates what flight is. So okay. this is really essentially taking a step in the foot of a refugee. So right. you're taking a step for safety. You walk. You come back and the assumption is that you're entering a safe country. Oh. So it's quite interesting and you get to see the steps and what refugees go mm. through. Tibo didn't mention, but he was an unaccompanied minor. He came here with no parents. Oh, wow. yeah. And if it was not for the you know grace of you oh, know wow. voluntary contributions, he would yeah. be illiterate today. Yeah. But because of what UNHCR is Amazing. able to do, don't forget this man was fed on 70 yeah. cities a day, I mean a month. Um, for eight and years. And he's doing well today. Yes. So, That's good. Um, exactly. Yeah. He went to university and all of that mm. based on vo the voluntary, voluntary contributions. Yeah. So okay. UNHCR does work that this is the face of some of what we do. Mm. Um, so you've seen it. Yes. You've yes. seen it. You've seen yes. it. And I think that it's imperative that we all do our best to make um, contributions. Step for safety is tomorrow. You've heard it all from um, Nida Jehu Mazu, um, Head of Private Sector Partnerships in Africa, um, UNHCR, as well as Thibault Rogers, uh, Private Sector Partnerships um, Officer at UNHCR as well. Take note of all the details. Um, shortly, we'll have another interview. I'm sure that would excite you as well. Stay tuned.